What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video in this golf restoration saga. So, in the last video you saw that I made some patch repair panels for the inner lower front panel. Um, that I wasn't overly happy with. Um, so yeah, if you've not already watched that, in the description I'll put a link. Go back, watch that episode um, and see what we did there. This one, we're going to move on now to try and... Um, Fix another problem, which is this scuttle has got holes all over it. We've got rot on here. We've got rot all the way along that end as well. Um, and we've got some rot going on in here as well. We've also, down here, got rot under the scuttle and we've got rot down there. So we need to remove this scuttle to give us access in to be able to work on this panel below. Uh, the way we're gonna do that is, same as we've done on other areas of the car, is drill all the spot welds out and then we'll make a couple of choice cuts either side of the bottom of the window opening and um, to then be able to remove the panel out. So I'm just gonna jump on and let's get that done. There's the old scuttle removed, looking very rusty along here and holy. The uh, rest of it isn't too bad actually, uh, but that's that one removed. And now we've got the new one, which we've... Can't get quite sitting in the right place at the moment because I've cut all the way down here. Now this looks worse than it is, it's not rusty. Um, it just needs a bit of cleaning and tidying up. I've cleaned this bit up, as you can see here. Um, but yeah, we've got, I've cut this, obviously, a lot less out, um, but I need to uh, trim this one to it. First thing I need to do, we've got that roughly in the right place. Drop the old one on top of that one. You can see here, I wanna trim a bit of this down so we know we're in about the right place and obviously we're going to have to try and cut this to make this fit the car as well but we're not worried about that at the moment this is what we're worried about at the minute we've got this rot here to fix and this rot over here to fix as well so uh, what we need to do is I need to get this off which is what I've started drilling um, and then we can start cutting sections out of this um, and then we'll be able to make a panel to go in there. So, let's start drilling some stuff and cutting some bits out. So, we've cut that bracket off. Um, I've cleaned the area up um, now. What I'm gonna do, because we've got a, some contours going on, um, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is gonna be a piece that will be this piece, we'll try and incorporate how much of this we need. We'll then put this fold into it, and then we're gonna come halfway across this little flat divot that's in here. We'll then make another piece, which will piece this bit in, I think is what I'm thinking at the minute. I don't want to go making a piece that's too complicated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure for how big we want to cut out. So I want it to be about 180 mil by about 150 mil. So what I'm going to do is now go and cut a perfect square out of card, sit that in, draw it round, and then we've got um, a square that we can cut out. So I'll go and draw that and bring it back. So this is what we need to try and cut a square out of. I've cut a rectangle, a square if you like, out of a piece of card. I'm gonna line this up to the edge that I want it on and get it where I want it. There, there. Somewhere there. 
and I'm going to take a sharpie and draw around this template. Which then give us a square to cut out. So as long as we don't deviate too far from that, we will cut the square out. So, get the grind up, start a little bit of cutting. We have the panel that we need to make to replace so it's all looking pretty good other than that and we'll be welding back to solid metal which is nice so now what we'll do is uh, transfer this onto a piece of steel cut um, cut it out oversize ever so slightly we'll be able to put this contour here into this end We'll be able to put this slight raised lip into this little area here using this obviously as a guide. And then we will be able to hopefully just tack a new one in and it'll be a little job off the list. So we've cut the piece out, piece of steel. You've got, this is the piece on here. So I've laid it on top. And if you can see that, can you see that? Move this out a bit. Just put two, a pen mark there and a pen mark there, which are first these folds that we're now going to put in. So we've put the marks on now, we'll bend the outer one first, we'll place this piece into here, to the mark we've just put on. Just there and there, do them up. Do them up, we'll fold that up. And have a look at what that looks like. That's about right. And this one, I'm not sure if this one's going to work or not. Yeah, it looks like it is. Bad. Pretty, pretty darn good. So we've got correct folds on them now. So here's the piece that's going to go in. It's obviously oversized at the moment. All of that looks pretty good. And all of that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is we'll make this pit panel fit the hole and then we'll add this detail to it as well just to line up to this. Now that's shaped, let's try that in the arm. To bring this bottom corner back up a bit. That is bang on. So we need to just dip that in a bit and then I think we'll be about there. So that's that panel cut and I am really happy with now that panel is fitting. So, we've now got to move on. 
says. So we've now got to move on to putting this hump in here. So that is the original one that's come out of it. So as you can see, it's got this in here. And it isn't very deep at all. So what we've got is brought this pick. We shall put a mark on where it starts to roll up and then where it flattens out and then where it flattens out and where it starts to roll up. So we've got those marks on there. We'll then transfer That's about how much So we've got how it starts to roll up, where it flattens out, where it flattens out, where it starts to roll up, and then the depth there. So let's go over to the bench and see what we can use to create that detail. Mm, that one might do it. I've lost my soft jaws as well, which is great. So I think it is. We'll just beat that to get it to fit. So we're getting there, but we just need to tidy it up a little bit bring them corners in touch. So there's that panel cut. We've got this detail here, which matches to the bulkhead. We've got this swage line coming down and fading out at the bottom. I think that's it. So what we'll do now is chuck a couple of tacks on it, start getting it mounted into the car. Awesome. Right then, let's give tacking this in a go. See if it works. Right then guys, that's it. This first panel is mounted in. Um, it isn't by any means absolutely A1 perfect. We've still got to do a bit of tidying up. I need to order this finger sander. I really need to order that here. We've got a few holes that we need to go back around and try and fill without blowing any bigger. Um, but the next thing I'm gonna do, we've got this bit of rot here. We're gonna have to cut a piece of this out to put a new piece in. Now, I've not welded this edge. I've left this edge, so hopefully we'll be able to get this piece out nice and easy. So we're going to put a slit there, a slit there, and a slit there. We'll take this piece out and we'll make a new piece. It's only hopefully going to have one bend on it. Two bends on it, two bends on it. So hopefully it should be quite easy to do. So let's cut that little bit out and then uh, we'll make a new piece. So we're going to cut this piece out now, but behind here there's a brace that runs, so we can't cut all the way through, all the way through the metal. So let's just make a start and try and cut cut a bit out and see how we get on. Ooh. There we go. See, there's that brace behind it. We can't 
get to it from the other side. But, great little bit, we'll be able to sort that out. Just have to grind a bit of that back. <coughs> Die grinder, we'll grind that back and then we'll be good to go. And then we have the new piece to go in. So, now I've got to cut it to fit the car, to fit the hole, so we've made it ever so slightly bigger. So then, this little piece goes in just there, and it's absolutely bob on. Pretty pleased with that. So, let's get this little badger tacked in dressed up and then we can prime this area and then when the sander comes we can finish that so let us do that so then guys here's that patch in all warts and all all extra bits of welding wire and everything on there this is a sort of cheaper welder that's why it's yeah you've got it. i've still not got to grips with sort of moving at the right times um some of them look pretty good uh but yeah other ones it looks like the uh, the pigeon's been been back in so we'll get these uh, cleaned up now um, and see what we're left with and then we'll go back and try and fill these holes in um, chuck a bit of primer on it should be done right guys that is those patches done so here we are then we've got a patch in here and then a patch in here i've got this to sort out still this to dress but the sand is on its way this hole here um, is to gain access i've got to cut a bit more out it's to gain access to repair this which is the where the clutch comes through which is a common fault so i've got a repair coming for this um, and this was just to open up a bit of space for that so that is out of stock at the minute so i can't finish any more in here and um, so we've got to move on now now this piece here doesn't look too bad we can i think it's going to pretty much be a flat panel we'll see how bad that bit is we might do that as a separate piece but yeah Let's uh, make a start, start cutting a bit of this out, see where we get to with it. There is that patch in then. You have to excuse the light in the torch has gone dead and charged it last night. But yeah, not the best welds in the world. Uh, there's a wire sticking off them and all sorts. I'm still trying to get used to the welder. Um, but we've got full penetration as well. On here, we've got a nice penetration at the back. It's gimbal. So yeah, it's in. It's sorted. We'll grind it back. Um, and hopefully that is then another little repair done and dusted. There we go, we stood the car back up. Here is uh, the patch that was at the top that we were just working on. Um, I've gone back round, there was a few bits where uh, the weld hadn't quite joined, so I've gone back round and just tacked them up. Now, I don't want to go attacking this with the grinder again because I don't want the metal getting too thin. I have now, thankfully, ordered the finger sander. I've been going on about it in quite a few videos. Um, that hopefully will be here tomorrow. Um, and we can use that and sort of work in an area more than the grinder you with them flat discs you can't quite gauge where you're working um, I'm getting better with them but I think the finger sand rule just give me that little bit more control so this scuttle was about repaired so you've got the one that we've just been discussing you've got this hole here which is left for the clutch plate and you've got there's a panel in along here and then there's a panel in there, and I think they look pretty damn good. So we're just gonna chuck a bit of weld through primer on it all, just to stop anything from rusting. And there we have it, primed on there. We've gone around and just primed these couple of bits this side as well. Um, but yeah, still got to tidy up the welds on this, but I don't think it's looking too bad. Um, once the scuttle's on, a little something like this, you'll never know that they were repaired which is 
the aim of it really. So in the next one, we're gonna start tackling this area uh, before I go fit in any of the scuttle or anything, um, which that can't be fitted until I've obviously finished the inside. There's a few other bits that I need to do in there, that area. There's a few repairs around the windscreen that we need to do as well. Um, but this feels like the right thing to move on to next um, is gonna be repairing this mess that's on here. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. I wanna say a massive thank you to Heritage Parts Centre for the parts and the panels that are going on the car. Um, I'll put a link in the description to the scuttle panel um, if that's something that you need. Um, don't forget to use the code CHAMBERS at the checkout to get 10% off your order. I wanna say a big thank you to Sealy Tools for the tools that I've been using in the video. I'll put a link in the description to the items I've used to make the repair panels that were fitted to the car. As ever, thank you all so much for watching. Um, please do continue to like the videos, uh, drop us a comment, let us know how you think we're getting on um, and if we can be doing anything ever slightly different, make our lives a little easier. Do please consider subscribing to the channel if you don't already. Um, click that little bell to get notified of when we drop another video. We are chasing 20,000 subscribers, so every subscriber helps. We're trying to get there before Christmas. Hopefully it's doable. Um, yeah, let's try. So I want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you for watching the videos. Um, for liking and commenting. It does help so much within YouTube's algorithm of getting us out there. I'm trying to get two videos out a week, um, which at the moment is we're pushing to get them on the golf. Um, but in a couple of weeks, I've got another project starting, um, which hopefully will be something a little different. Um, and I'll be splitting my week between the two projects. Thank you all so, so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Hopefully, We'll be able to sort this out in the next video, but until then, enjoy.